Hey, we're live. James P. King, TrainingSites.io. Got something really interesting from Gemini today. Uh, I think it just came out today or yesterday. It's called Storybook. I'm going to show it to you. We'll do two actual live demos here quickly, but it's called Storybook. And uh, I think initially they were kind of thinking of, you know, creating picture books, maybe for kids or something like that. But I think given a particular topic and a specific audience that you want it for, you can basically have a storybook, and in this case, up to 10 pages created just in time for whatever it is you need to teach. And I think that's a really cool part because there's sometimes when you just have something, you want to get a point across, you want people to be able to remember things, you want to be able to have a story that's easily identifiable. Why don't you just create a quick storybook? Now, I'm going to show you two examples. The first one is going to be one that is very, very complex. The other one is going to be very simple. Both of these prompts that I'm using are ones that I basically asked Gemini to create a prompt for itself. So I didn't pick up any of these. You're going to see how they work. We'll actually look at the storybook. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit of a secret on where this, I think, is going. Because as I was prompting us, getting ready for this, it gave me a secret that isn't officially launched yet. But I think it's there. So what does it look like? Where do we find it? Let's get started. First thing is, is when you go to Google Gemini again, I'm using currently that it says 2.5 Pro there is the different model. Uh, in my particular case, that's the one I have on when I did it. It runs with 2.5 Pro. My understanding is it's free for everyone. But on the left hand side where it normally says gems, you're going to see Storybook is there. So this is the brand new Storybook feature. Again, that's in experimental. Uh, and when you click it, you're going to get this interface. And this interface is a little bit different. It kind of gives you some prompts. But the idea is that if you pick a particular um, style, art style, it is going to create a 10-page book with all of the graphics and all of the text. And it even has a narration built into it. So this is one of those ones where it's taking all these different pieces of all the Google stuff that they've been doing, all of the AI stuff in the studio, and they're bringing it all together for a specific, really cool application. So what happens? How does it work? Let's take a, a live example and see what happens. So I'm going to open up one that I did before. And in this case, I gave it a pretty big prompt that Google Gemini gave me because I said, give me a specific example, including the script. So you're an ex, uh, expert instructional designer specializing in corporate leadership training for high tech companies. And then I gave it a goal, create a, a module a storybook module or storybook lesson. We'll talk about that in a second. And it's the art of constructive feedback. So I gave the title of the module. The goal is for learners to be able to confidently deliver feedback that is clear, actionable, uh, motivating, even when it's difficult, target audience, the core framework. So this is the actual teaching um, uh, framework or format that I want the response to be given in. And then it has the structure of the particular model. So I had an introduction, the module, the mo SBI model uh, included, interactive scenarios, and key takeaways and assessments. So I was specific in the prompt. And this is something that I generated in 30 seconds just by prompting Gemini to give me the prompt. Uh, and it gave me interactive scenario details. Uh, and then, again, this is all of the script that was created. So all I did is I ran it. And this is what I got. Hey, there we go, storybook. Uh, let me move this one over and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I got a storybook. Let's take a look at the interface because there's some really interesting things here. Uh, and I will make it full page in a second. But for now, if you look on the right hand side, you see there's listen here and there's a drop down. So higher pitched voice, lower pitched voice, start from beginning and listen in full screen. So you can listen to the different style of voices that you want. Remember, think of Notebook LM where they have that uh, audio sum summary where they do that kind of podcast thing. Uh, I think they're kind of using the same technology, putting it in. They don't allow anything other than this lower pitched voice or higher pitched voice. So they do have listen that is here. Uh, and if we open it up, let me see if I will go do full screen and make sure I don't get myself in the way. There we go. This is fine. Okay, so we got a book. I mean, again, none of the graphics, nothing was done uh, by me. We've got the book opens up and then we've got welcome to management, one of your most important roles. This is the script that I had uh, Gemini do beforehand and actually put into the book. 
So I've got 10 pages that are created here. All of the graphics were done. This took maybe 10, 15 seconds to put together. And if you look at the end, we've now got a practice session on page six of 10. Then we've got an example of it. Test the knowledge for a little bit of a quiz at the end. And question two. Okay, question four. And we can start over from here. So easy, easy, easy way to create it. Again, graphics, everything is done. Now, sometimes people obviously don't want to read. If they're just flying over it, we can go and select listen. The Art of Constructive Feedback. And it said something went wrong, so let's see if I can get that. We'll be using the Situation Behavior Impact SBI model. It's a straightforward way to structure your feedback so that it is specific, objective, and focused on growth. Okay, so pretty cool. We got a nice kind of 10 slide module with a narration, quizzes, a little bit interactive. We're all set. Now, I'm going to show you the other demo in a second, but this one first, there was a secret at the end of it. And let's take a look at it. And this is especially important for course creators because I was playing around with this and I'm gonna close it. I was asking about, you know, how come pieces work? How come pieces don't work? What the final deliverable was? All of that cool stuff. And I wanna show you one of the things that it said. And I was actually uh, putting it together. And one of the things that it did at the end, this is another version that I did. I'm just looking uh, for the piece that I did. But one of the things I said, can I save this? It actually said, yes, you can save it, export it as a SCORM compliant or XAPI content to import to your learning management software. Now, I tried to do it. It didn't do it. But when I was chatting with Gemini, it actually said that was kind of one of the steps you could do. So I'm going, okay, well, you know, what's going on there? Why is it talking about that, but not being allowed allow me to do it? Because I have the feeling that that's exactly what's going to happen is we're going to have the, uh, the the ability to do that. And here's the actually discussion I had. So uh, I was asking basically, uh, where is it? This would provide an application or storybook with prompts to interact. We've been talking about all of these things with creating mini apps or micro apps. And again, Google is well set up to do that with Firebase. Uh, and I think Mariner's the other one where they've got these agents and stuff working on. But I just basically said, um, you know, what is it? The storybook prompts to interact, highly advanced one. So here's the workflow puts it through. I was wondering why we couldn't do it. Uh, you're not getting a separate app, but here's what the ones that said. Um, here it is, upload your platform. You can take that sim single zip file or the quiz questions into a single file. This will be an industry standard format, uh, SCORM or the XAPI, and then upload it to your learning management software like Teachable, Kajabi, Moodle, Cornerstone, etc. And then you've now got it. So I'm not getting a separate app in this case, but we now have multiple lessons that we can put into traditional courses as part of our other training setup. And how quick is it actually take to spin these up? Well, why don't we take a look and see what happens? I did up another document, uh, and again, this one here, these are kind of the examples I was playing around with, and some use cases. I'll make sure that all of this content is available. I just put five uh, examples up here. Um, let me just do one. So here's one example. After finishing a training module on new data privacy regulations, the compliance officer uses a generator to do a 15 question certification quiz. So the tool automatically pulls concepts from the text. So just an example on how to do that with a prompt. Now, where's the example of a prompt that I did? I just want to pick one here that we have. Here's a simple prompt. So I'm just going to copy this one. I didn't put any details, any specifics in it. I'm just going to copy it and actually let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to storybook here on the left hand side. And if you can't see that, there it is here. I just click storybook here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a prompt, put it in. And that's not the one that I wanted. Let's do this one instead. I'm going to do that. Let's do one of them here. Um, actually, no, I want to do the one that I had before. Make sure we've got that copied. So this is, you know, technically 
just a single one, how to give constructive feedback. I didn't tell the model, the framework. I didn't give any of the script. I'm just providing it. So let's see what happens. Now it's going to go create it. How long do you think it will take? Remember, we've got this image FX. We've got all these additional Google tools now that are getting baked in for a specific task. Uh, and if you notice at the bottom there, I also had the microphone. So if I did want to do this verbally and talk to it, it will actually put it together. Uh, and you'll also notice it says first draft. So at any time I can go back and have it create or update this to either and improve or fix or alter what it generates. But again, this is just a single prompt to get started. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, if someone's trying to maybe do a talking head video, or even if they're using AI to use a tool like Gamma to create a slide deck, or they're, you know, taking kind of videos and doing editing stuff just to get some kind of video format in, here's something that can be built in as a story. And again, you can give it the story and have it actually created on the fly just in time when you need it. So it's not like a static course. If someone asks, how do I do this? Or what is the policy for this? Spin up some training for it just when you need it, as you need it for a specific person. You can even say, hey, James, this is your training. And you put the name James in. The other part that's in here is you can actually add images. It's a cartoon image right now, but you can also include upload images that can be used in the book. So you can personalize this to individual people if you wanted to. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to open this up. We'll go to full screen again. And again, I did not include any of it. This was just done. Uh, make it so it all fits in. I'm just minimizing my screen here. There's 100%. So let's click it and see what happens. Okay, Eleanor, a senior manager, sat at her desk, a thoughtful expression on her face. Now notice this one has a story. The other one was just content, right? This one has a story. I didn't tell it the story. I didn't give it the character names. All I did is I said one single sentence about being able to uh, work or give feedback to people. So she wanted to do her team. She wanted to give them feedback. Click. We've got, remember, our own first performance review. Uh, so we've now got a story, animations, not animations, but good graphics, relevant graphics all the way through. And then a personal story. And this is done easily, quickly, something again that can be completely customized to whoever it is. Uh, and again, the voices here. As the art of the conversation, Eleanor, a senior manager, sat at her desk, a thoughtful expression on her face. It was time for her. Is that cool or what? Uh, these are another one of these content, 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 specific content personalized to the people that really, really need to uh, learn a particular topic, whether they're the student taking it or the teacher slash instructor slash course creator that needs to have a specific answer for someone done quickly. Um, and again, any kind of story can be created. So it doesn't matter if you are an example of someone who is trying to learn something and you have trouble learning it, or you need a story or a specific example or an analogy that you can use, you can create your own storybooks as a learning aid. You can figure out what the framework is. The one that they had there was the SBI framework. You could ask it to create a story for it with a single prompt and be able to have that item available for you as a quick video, as a narration, but an easy to remember story. And again, a story is worth how many words? A thousand words. It's easy to remember, easy to follow, and it's a simple way to take advantage of a really cool AI tool from Google, which is their brand new storybook uh, feature. I want to do one other thing just before we finish here. And this is why I'm getting so excited about all of the Gemini stuff. Uh, and again, this was August 6th last week. Um, you know, they're talking right now. I think the amount was $1 billion in support, AI support for higher education and learning mode from Google. So I think we're going to be seeing all of these really, really uh, tightly integrated into Gemini, all of these learning tools and Storybook is just one of them that has just come out in the last little while. And these are all part of the experiments in the labs at Google. 
So go around and play with that. Spend some time with Gemini. Again, it's on the left-hand side. You should be able to see it. Uh, and uh, exciting part when we get going with this, of course, is you're going to be able to export these modules and lessons directly into, at least that's what they said, directly into your LMS or the place where you're providing the content for your students. This is James speaking, TrainingSites.io. We'll be back again with hopefully another cool video to help you start, build, and grow your education business.